welcome to bsc statistic students in this class i discuss one more problem of a test for single mean large sample tests in large sample test test for single mean i am discussing another problem problem 2 let us consider problem 2 i read the problem you um i suggest you that uh, read the problem 2 3 times read 2 3 times then only you can easily understand the problem then only we can do the uh, problem easily let's right, so see i start the problem start reading the problem a sample of 400 individuals is found to have a mean height of 67.47 inches standard deviation 1.3 inches this is uh, so far one some part, some particular data is given can it be reasonably regarded as sample from a large population with mean height more than 67.39 inches at 1% level of significance now again read the problem probably you have understand the problem now first of all recognize whether it is one sample or two sample problem you see it is very clear very clearly it is given that a sample of 400 individuals found to have a mean of, mean height of 67.47 inches and standard deviation 1.3 inches that is uh, no other sample here only one sample it is given therefore it is one sample related problem now you write down what what is the data it is given given that a sample of 400 individuals that is n is equal to 400 is found to have a mean height that is the mean of the 400 sample individuals a sample of 400 individuals is 67.47 inches that is uh, x bar is equal to 67.47 inches and standard deviation 1.3 inches that is standard deviation of the sample that is s standard deviation of the sample s is equal to 1.3 cm inches not cm inches this is the data now the question is can it be reasonably regarded as sample from a large population that is uh, whether it is drawn or it is considered from the large sample the sample is considered from the large sample that is the question we have to test with the mean height more than 67.39 inches that we have to test whether it is the height is average height is more than 67.39 that is this is the mean of the population we see more than latter that is to formulate null and alternative this is the question it is going to be formulate two hypothesis null and alternative hypothesis so therefore mu population mu is also given 67.39 mu is equal to 67.39 at 1% level of significance that is level of significance is given 1% so now what you have to construct uh, immediately you construct null and alternative hypothesis this is the given data we have specified and null hypothesis h not mu is equal to 67.39 that is uh, here it is specified that uh, test whether the mean height is more than 67.39 what you have to consider in null hypothesis we have to consider it is equal not more than no not more than it is equal that is sample has been drawn from the population with uh, average height 67.39 inches that is h not mu is equal to 67.39 we have, we have to write the sample has been drawn from the population with mean height 67.39 inches whereas in the alternative hypothesis we have to consider the average height the mean height of the population is more than 67.39 inches that is the statement is given here more than no not more than that is equal we have consider in the null hypothesis in the alternative hypothesis we have to consider yes the sample uh, the mean height of the population is uh, more than 67.39 inches 
it is a sample is drawing from the large population with mean height more than 67.39 inches that is mu h1 mu greater than 67.39 do you understand this this is what we have to consider in the alternative hypothesis more than the statement partial statement more than or less than or inferior or superior it is to be considered in the alternative hypothesis mu greater than 67.39 inches this is called one tile test now hope you understand this is now one tile test now the third point is test statistic under h0 the test statistic under h0 we have to consider here the case clearly sigma is not known i have specified here sigma is not given you see here n x bar s mu these are the values are given so sigma is not known that the, we, we can mention in that in the test strategy under h not as well. sigma is not known not given or not known therefore z is equal to the formula x bar minus mu not divided by s by root n if, if sigma is not given then the formula is s by root n x bar minus mu not by s by root n substitute the values x bar 67.47 minus mu not 67.39 divided by s 1.3 divided by square root of n 400 is equal to 1.23 now the inference are comparison and conclusion calculate this value we'll get this the modulus of z comparison conclusion first point is modulus of z is equal to 1.23 and uh, now we have to get the tabulated value that is z alpha at 1% level of significance because 1% level is given in the problem and for one tile test you see the alternative hypothesis one tile test at 1% level at, at for one tile test from the standard normal tables z alpha value is 2.33 therefore modulus of z you compare these two modulus of z and z alpha 1.23 is less than 2.33 therefore modulus of z is less than z alpha which implies h naught is accepted that is sample has been drawn from the population x h naught is accepted what is h naught the sample has been drawn from the population the sample has drawn from the population with mean height 67.39 it is not more than 67.39 that is what our conclusion the sample height is not more than 67.39 inches that is sample has been drawn from the population with the height uh, with the mean height uh, the average height uh, 67.39 inches hope you understand this is what uh, case 2 we have observed here in this particular problem case 2 sigma if sigma is not known and uh, here uh, alternate hypothesis uh, according to the alternate hypothesis the test is one tile test so these are the two cases we have observed in the single mean test thank you